I focus my research on polymorphic and metamorphic malware because both types of malware are much harder to de detect and intentionally tries to hide itself in files, images, and programs that are already stored on the computer. The topics I wanted to discuss are what are they, what are examples of these types of malware, how to avoid these types of attacks, how to detect them, and why we care. Polymorphic malware refers to a malware's ability to continually change and adapt its features to avoid detection. It is kind of like a chameleon changing its color to blend in with the background. One second it is bright green, the next it's virtually invisible. Polymorphic malware can exist in many forms, such as viruses, bots, trojans, worms, and keyloggers. One of the reasons polymorphic malware is so dangerous is because it can change its appearance every 15 to 20 seconds. An example of polymorphic malware is WannaCry. WannaCry is, ran is a ransomware worm that spread rapidly across several computer networks in May 2017. After infecting a PC, it then encrypts files on the hard drive, making it impossible for users to access. Then it demands a ransom payment in Bitcoin in order to decrypt them and enable access to those files again. In March 2018, Boeing was hit with a suspected WannaCry attack, but the company claimed that the attack did little damage and a patch for the vulnerabilities was readily available. Metamorphic malware is a lot nastier. While polymorphic has a telltale core that can be detected, metamorphic malware tries to reorganize its entire code with each iteration. It reassembles the same logic and functionality that it had before, but adds elements such as dummy code and reorganization of functions to, in order to make it look different from the previous appearance. An example of a metamorphic malware is Dexvo. This type of malware exploits a combination of backend processes in order to avoid detection by antivirus software. Microsoft reported that in 2018, when Dexvo first arrived on the scene, it infected at least 80,000 computers and manipulated code from other programs to stay hidden. Dexvo also used a technique called cryptojacking, which is a scheme to use people's devices without their consent or knowledge to secretly mine cryptocurrency on the victim's dime. Microsoft has updated their operating system with a new Defender Advanced Threat Protection that should detect the malware and remove it. This graph shows how many phishing and malware sites were reported from 2007 to 2019. The data in 2019 shows that malware has decreased but was replaced by phishing sites. Phishing sites are sites that go after valuable information such as login information, credit card accounts, social security numbers, or any other kind of information that it can steal by prompting you to fill out a fake form. This requires no downloads from the user and can be done fairly easy. How you can detect malware. Use anti-spam and anti-phishing email protections that help to identify and quarantine malicious emails. Implement heuristic analysis mechanisms that scan for certain shared components of different threats. Use emulation and virtualization tools that better understand a file's behavior in a virtual environment. Also tie and employ access control methods to sensitive and essential systems only. How to avoid or defend against malware. Don't download shady files, don't open suspicious emails, and don't click on strange links your friends on social media sent you. Download antivirus and anti-malware tools to detect malware that is hard to detect. Malware can't attack you if you never give it a chance to. Why is it relevant to understand this? Malware has caused millions of identities to be stolen worldwide. One of the biggest data breaches involved Equifax, which exposed the data of 143 million Americans. The information that was exposed was credit card numbers, social security numbers, birth dates, and addresses. Malware has also costed people billions of dollars. In 2017, a famous not Paytia ransomware attack cost FedEx $300 million in just one quarter. Each year, hackers generate revenue of $25 million by using malware. Data being erased completely off of servers and computers is also a big problem. A malware that came out in 2018 called Stalin Locker is designed with only one goal, 
Lock a person's computer and give them 10 minutes to enter an unlock code or watch their data be erased completely. Stalin Locker is considered to be ransomware, but they aren't after any money to unlock your device. All the hackers want is for you to enter the correct unlock code and your files will be unlocked. However, if the user fails to enter the correct unlock code, all their data will be erased on that device after 10 minutes. And here are the sources I used for my research. And that's it.